hello guys good and welcome back to my channel my name is Kuli. so today we'll be making this beautiful dress if this is what you like to learn please make sure to stay tuned like and share so this is a princess court dress it's called a gold dress i use a princess you can make this i i you can make it as a spaghetti like a strapless dress but i made it like this so i can wear it to church i cannot just make something that is this big and just be wearing it like that so that's why i decided to like make it a shoulder dress so i can attach my sleeve so let's get started um the full length of my dress is 60 inches i use the full tape so after that you just do your normal bodies your shoulder your arm hole measurements because like i said i want to attach a sleeve to this so so this is it we are starting from so i'm taking my shoulder midpoint connecting it to my um the one inch that i came down with then i took my bust measurement so after that i'm going to get my my waist location which is six 16 inches then my hip location that is from your waist you go down by eight inches that will be your waist location if you are taller you can use nine so after getting your hip and your waist you are now going to get your boss point my boss point is 11 inches so my boss point is 11 inches once i have the 11 inches i'm going to outline it very well sorry that i'm using pen i'm still going to use my marker to make the lines bold enough so that is my boss point so I will indicate the lines for you to see and here is my chest line. I will indicate the chest line very well. So once you are done with that, you are going to take your nipple to nipple. That is your boss point to boss point. My boss point to boss point is 8 inches. I did not add any allowance to this. So once you get 8 inches, you are taking it all the way to your full length. That your 8 inches divide by two your boss point divide by two you are taking it from your boss point to your full length so that is what i have here remember that i said that my full length is my full tape i use the whole full tape so that is my full length i will extend the lines very well so once you are done cut join um drafting it dotting it you are going to join it so i will um, like I said, I'm making a princess that so under my arm homemade points line, I'll go up by half inch and come down by half inch. Then on my boss points, I went down by half inch, I went up by half inch. So I'm going to connect those lines just the normal way you make your princess that. That is how I'm going to connect it. Then on the shorter one, I'll go out by half inch just to avoid shortage on the other armhole part. So that is what i did then i created a new armhole that is this for our princess that so on your waistline you go in by half inch and come in by half inch i'm trying to create the darts now you can go out by one inch or half inch but i'm using a very stretchy fabric so once you have it connected to that half inch that you can down with on your boss point so here you are not so once you have with this this half inch line that you went out and came in with on the waistline you are going to take the half inch straight all the way down don't start covering it to the hip part you are just going to follow that half inch line just the way i'm doing here all the way to the full length you are marking the half inch all the way to the full length on both sides you are taking the half inch down just like i have it here I took it straight all the way to the full length and make sure that your your lines are straight so that is what you need here look at the way i connected it i didn't start covering it on the um i didn't start covering the hip part i just took that half inch straight i'll outline it with my marker so that it will be very very visible for you to see just take it all the way to the hemming line so that is we are going to cut out the center part the part that i'm lining now is the part that we are going to cut and thus the post points please don't make it to be too curvy because we are not really making 
we are not making a that dress is it <laughs> princess that's blouse so this is a ready to wear so the neck width that i use is three by three the back the the back is one inch like um I just want a normal round neck. The next thing is to take your waist measurement. My waist measurement is 8 inches. I'm not replacing this that. Reason being that um my uh, my fabric is very stretchy. So I didn't bother replacing the that. I I will still need to even minus because of my stretchy fabric. So I will also take my hip measurement with that uh taking any of that so that's how you just take it all the way straight please this is not a pencil dread it's just a straight dread just from your hip you take it down to your full length so this is how it should look don't replace if you are using a very stretchy fabric don't don't replace the dust so the next thing now is to determine where we are going to start attaching our flay that is the white part or the pink part so on your hip line on my hip line i went up by five inches that is where my mine is going to stop start from that is where my flay is going to start from so i'll extend the lines very well then cut out my dust separate my dust and notch that five inches that i went up with I would have said like um uh I don't I feel the mine is too high I may still have to reduce it to four inches like from the hip part I'll go up by four inches but if you like it the way it is mine is is just from the hip part I went up by five inches so I'll start separating I will cut out the that and uh, show you guys the what we have here I will cut the shoulder slope and the neckline. Please, please before cutting this out, make sure you indicate that that's your your mark. Make sure you you notch it. So I'll get my hip that place that I said I was going to come out by five inches. I'm going to notch it. Please notch it, or you not to make a mistake. So I've notched it, and here also I'm going to I'll cut it out and notch it. So here this part is the way you're going to cut it. This is how it's going to look. This is how it's going to. This is it. This is it. So you can just decide to leave it like this, or you can from that notched part. So so you can just decide to leave it like this, or you can just create a room for the white part to flow very well. So on this part now, on the center front line now the down part the full length i'll i'll come in by one inch or one by five inches you can just mark one inch here just mark one inch here and also mark one inch here or 1.5 inches once you mark it you connect it slightly to meet that place that five inches that you went up with to meet that line you can connect it slightly so i'm going to come here that is my notch line sorry that my paper is misbehaving so I'll connect it slightly. I'll connect from these five inches that I notched slightly to meet this one inch. So I'll start connecting this way. You can decide to just leave it the way you have it. At least remove something so that it will relax very well. So you just connect it to this one inch or 1.5 inches, then cut it out. So do the same thing to this part and just cut it out. Then I'll wrap the part. I'll do the same thing to this other part then we don't cut the back so if you are cutting this if you place it to cut on your fabric remember that the front part the center part is on fold you are cutting it on fold so so you can just add half inch here just add half inch for the joining just half inch that is only allowance and here also i'll add half inch when i'm cutting it out so i'll notch this very well and draft out the back we'll draft out the back together so here is the back i've drafted it out already what you need for the back is the chest line you don't need first point 
for the back you just need your chest line waist and hip then your full length and here once you get your uh, um back arm hold that is your middle point your arm hold midpoint you don't need to come in by half inch remember that we came in by half inch for the front you don't need it. you don't need it here you just need to get the midpoint then take your bust measurements and connect it the neck width is still the same the back depth is one inch if you're adding your zipper allowance you can add your zipper allowance but like i said i'm not adding a zipper allowance here because i'm trying my best i'm going to use a stretchy fabric but just to if you're if, if you're not sure of your fabric or if you're making it a sleeveless you don't even need a zipper or if you're making something like this you might need a zipper it depends on how stretch your fabric is so here now here uh, you remember here we came down by we went up by half inch and went down by half inch. that's the uh, midpoint sample you don't need all that you just need to you just need to connect it this way just connect it on this midpoint and you don't need to extend it again so i'm just going to use my pen and connect it or you just go up by half inch so on that midpoint i'll go up by half inch and just connect it remember just connect it to your chest line you don't need to on your chest line so if you don't need all those go up by half inch or come in come down by half inch just connect it and make sure that you don't curve it much just try your possible best not to make it curvy here i'm just still going to straighten it you don't need curve the back don't need to have any curve so that is just it here so on your waist you still do the same half inch you go in by half inch and come up by half inch so I'm going to connect it to the chest line. I'm going to connect this half half inch to the chest line. So I'll connect it to the chest line this way. Also connect this one to the chest line. So I'm going to now take it straight just the way we did with the front. We are not covering it, we're taking it straight down. So I'll take it straight down. I've taken it straight down that half half inch all the way to the hemming line. So the next thing now is on your hip line, you still go up by five inches, just like the way you did with the front. Please notch it for you to know that that is where the five inches is. So the next thing now is to remove um your zipper porch, but um so I'll, on your hip line you go up by half inch and go down by half inch you are going you are now going to slit that half inch to place it on the other half inch. just like remove a total of one inch from the from your waist part so i've done that i'm going to gum it back so that one um i remove one inch from my waist part in case i'm going to add a zipper so that they, there won't be any bulging at the back so that is just what you need for the back that one inch that you you remove you are going to replace it on the on on your full length so this is the one inch i will now slant it to the side seam on your center back you are going to replace that one inch then slant it to your side seam so that is just what we have for that then the next is to take your hip and waist measurement remember that i did not add any allowance when i was cutting the front part so the back is still the same thing i'm not adding any allowance so whatever you get you just take it all the way down remember it's not penciled so once you are done with that you're going to cut it out that's the way i'm cutting it out that one inch that i replace um on that damn part it's not going it will not affect the length but if you don't replace it you will notice that the back will come be, uh, will be shorter than the the front so you just have to replace it and please make sure your princess that is not pointed so this is what i have so once you are done cutting it please notch that five inches that you went up with because that is where you are going to stitch so once you are stitching your stitch your that will end on that notched part the other parts will be open I've gone ahead to cut it on my fabric this is the center back remember that i said before that i was not going to add a zipper but now i decided to add a zipper so i brought out one inch zipper allowing you don't need to start removing any, any zipper budget again because you have already done that with that one inch that you removed from the waist part and replaced it there so when you are cutting this the dart part you are going to add half inch from the armhole part to that the half inch will stop on that notched part that place that your five inches you came up with by five inches so other parts will just be equal you don't need to replace all those remember that we removed 
one inch when we were cutting it on the center part so you are still going to slash that one inch that you slashed to the notch part um the way you did with the front so the next thing now is to cut that the pink part the flat part so from that your notch part you measure from that notch part to your full length whatever you have will be the length of your flay so i have from that notch part to my full length i have 44.5 so my flay length is going to be 44.5 so you are going to fold the flay in a bias form you are cutting it in a bias form watch how i'm it's too big so i'll just show you how to get it so you are going to come to the edge and just fold it in a bias form the way you fold your flay so i'll fold it like this so this is it this is the end part so i'll bring it like this i'll fold it like this i'll fold it like this this place will be like this it will be pointed like it will be it will have a sharp edge here you are not cutting the sharp edge that is what you actually need to start attaching it so this place should be sharp like this so you are going to arrange it now the way you'll be able to cut it so make sure that it's very equal like everything aligns together very well so make sure that it aligns together so i'll get my chalk so you start taking your measurement from here from this point now that's where you start taking your measurement you, you place your tape here you are not cutting free you are just cutting a rat set so remember that it's, it's on fold so you, you are cutting here is where you're going to start taking your measurement so you take your measurement here my measurement is 45 so i'll just push this part down until i get 45 so i'm going to get 45 so i'll mark 45 I'll be taking it around from here. I'll be taking it around to I mark up to 45. Once you mark up to 45, you cut it. So I'll use the one that I've cut out already to show you. Just take place your tape from here. Place your tape from here. Then start marking it around. Just the way you go with your flame. Mark the length that you have. Mark it around. Then just cut it. That is where you that is where it should be. So you have you need up to five yards or six yards for this. But if you have four, instead of after cutting it like this. That is if you are using a crepe. If you are using crepe, after cutting it like this, if you don't have enough fabric, you just have to divide this into two, just to share it into two, slit it open and attach it that, like that. Or if you have enough fabric, just cut it this way. Let it be on fold, cut it on fold. But in case you don't have, you just slit it open. But it will not be with crepe, uh, chiffon because chiffon doesn't have that weight. So yes, so I'm going to replace this one. So that is just it. So after that, you're going to join the dart. And this is the back dart. Join the zipper allowance all the way down so i'm going to join the zipper allowance then join the side that so i'll so the zipper allowance straight down so the next thing after that is to attach your that i'm gonna have to attach one part of the front that this is how it looks this is how it's going to look so the princess that well, the ample part i i joined it all the way to the that to that notched part the part that i notched that is where I store. You just back stitch on the part that you notched, and you have it like this. So just when you get here, just back stitch and leave it that way. So I'll join everything, iron the chiffon, and show you how to attach the chiffon. But you are going to the uh, once you are done joining this, you are going to join your shoulder, your side. Yeah, you are going to join the side all the way down. So I will join the shoulder, join the side all the way down. Then I show you how to attach this one. Then it's almost ready. I'm done joining it, and I've started joining the uh, the flat parts. So this is how you, after joining, just what you need to join is your shoulder. I'm going to pipe my neckline. I'm here to do that. Just join your shoulder, then the side. You know, you're not attaching the pink part on the side of your dress. And the pink part is just four pieces. So you just join your uh, the side of your dress straight down. Make sure that everything aligns, the length and everything. Join it. So also join the the two sides, the, bo the both sides, then before, attach, uh, before you start attaching your the pink part. So this is it. This is the pink part. This is the wrong side this is how it looks this is how the wrong side looks this is it just when you are stitching just stop uh, stop back stitch on that place you notch up to half inch stitch with half inch and back stitch on that place that is what you just need to do so this is the right part this is how the right part looks it's very neat the right part is very neat if if you attach it though if you are attaching it just take your time it's not that difficult to attach but just take your time you don't need to rush it take your time to attach it this is how neat and flat it looks this is how it should look this is how it should look when you when you are attaching it this is it so i'm going to show you how i attached it here is the place second back um 
Second part of the part that I'm yet to attach. So I stitched it, I stopped on that niche, um, notched part. Make sure that the notch part is equal. Make sure it's equal. So you get your flay now. You get your flay, you get the sharp edge, that sharp point. So this is it. Just make sure that you're holding the sharp, the right place. So just make sure you're holding the right place. And this is my right place. Look at it. The pointed part, it should be your right place. This is how it is. I told you that if you don't have enough fabric, you can slip this into two. But I have, so this is the sharp point. So it doesn't have back and front. Mine doesn't have back and front. So I will not get it. I will not get it. This is the, this is the place I'm going to attach it. So I will open it. Open this part now. Place it in between the, part, uh, the dart line. Just a bit. Look at it. Look at where my distance stops. I'll just push it a little, maybe to be like, it's not to half inches. Just, just make sure you have maybe a little bit fabric that will pass through this notched part so that you have, so that it will not lose. So I'll push it up a bit in between that line, in between the line. I'll place this in between the line. It's not to, then this is the notched part. This is the place that I backstitched on. So I'll place it like this. I'll get my pin. Just place it in between the line. So I placed it in between the line. I'll get my, my pin. Just one part, one side. I'm going to pin one side. Make sure it's the sharp edge that you are pinning. So I'll pin this. I'll pin it. So when you pin it, you are going to close one part before stitching the other part. So I'll just stitch. Make sure you are stitching on one line. So I'll just back stitch on this place. Then I'll just close it up on a straight line. It's up to half inch. So I'll just follow this line all the way to the end of the black fabric. The pink is a bit longer than the black, which is not a problem because I'm going to trim it to be equal with the black. So this is where you should have just close this up a bit so once you are done with that you will have something like this this part will look like this remember that you are yet to join this uh, join the second part so it will look like this you now come back to the second part now you come back to the second part come back you place it make sure that you are holding it very well very neat you don't have to pin this part again now you don't have to pin so that you'll be able to sew it so i will i start from down like if i'm sewing the second part i'll place it like this I'll sew like I'll I'll sew it from one inch. Then you sew from one inch starts from here to this to the end of the pink part, so that you will have a neat finishing. Once you sew up to from here from one inch to the closing part to the end part of the pink to the notched part, you open it to make sure that it's neat. Once you have it on a straight line, then you can flip it and sew it in any way that you'll be able to like hold it very well. So once I sew it from one, once I sew it here to here, once it's neat, I'm going to flip it like this again. Just so it's on a straight line down to the hemming part. So that is what you need for this. And we are done. Your sleeve, I'm here to decide the sleeve that I'm going to attach. So once you are done with that, you trim the damp part, the pink part, make sure that it's the same length with the black. Once you trim it off, once you trim the pink part, you just hem it round. So it's just that simple and easy. So I'm here to attach this, but it should look very straight. Once you hold this, you are going to attach one side. Remember that it is the this pink one is in between the dots, is in between, is in the middle of the dot. So you just sew here with the straight, fast stitch on this, so it's straight. Once you are done with that, you're going to place this also. Place this, place this this way. Back stitch up to one one inch, then close it up. Um, so it will get to the end part. You also flip it like this and straight you go. So that is just what you need for this time. That's just it. If you have any question or you don't understand it, please drop a comment and I will respond. So this is it. This is the full dress. It came out really, really big. So I'm, I, I don't know if I'm going to attach it, but I have a zipper and that one. So I'll just close all that. I will, it will be on the mannequin, but later I'm going to finish it up, wear it for you to see how it looks on the body. So I'm still going to wear it and snap it to show you guys how it looks on my body. So thank you. Thanks for watching.